Hello. How are you doing? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Pieces of grass, dogs, cats, sweet corn, um, toilet paper, bits of water, raindrops, individual raindrops, bits of dust, um, pieces of carpet which have been ripped off because there's too much there's not enough room to put the whole carpet in uh, who else you know those little bits on the wall who you know well i'll show you just a sec can you see that yeah there's little bits there yeah hi to all of you lot and don't forget that piece of oh fuck's sake where have you gone where have you gone oh my god where have you gone it's very small but you can see it Wait, for God's sake. All right, there we go. All right, two pieces of hair then. All right. Can you see that? Yes, you can. I just want to say hello to you lot. Now, welcome to my house of fun. Today I'm going to be showing you around. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll like what you see. If not, then don't call the police, because otherwise I'll have your mother slit. As in, not... Yes, okay, just shut up. Okay. First of all, I'd like to say that before you watch any further, there's going to be some graphic images. Uh, some, uh, what the hell is that? Some, uh, some slavist, uh, some uh, r hatred against slaves, basically. Uh, shampoo overusing, and maybe even a little bit of... <laughs> so, uh, just beware. Okay. Oh, what are we going to look at first? It's just going outside of this room. This room is the torture chamber where I keep my victims. Those victims being uh, salespeople that come round. I capture them, tie them up, and feed them endless spoonfuls of spaghetti. <laughs> so, basically, let's go and have a look around. See you later, spaghetti people. Now this here room is where my father grew up. He said, hello, son. When I die, I want you to have this room. So I killed him there and then. And I got it. There he is now. Say hello, father. No, he's dead. Okay. This here is my uh, dear, dear auntie, uh, Jaguda. Jaguda, how you doing? Alright, she's dead as well. She's shriveled up, though. She's shriveled up to the size of a, uh, small antelope. I was going to say ant. <laughs> you didn't know you thought I was going to say ant, but I said ant. <laughs> I don't know what these people are thinking next door. There must be this water going on, you know? Walking down the stairs now. This house is a ancient heirloom of mine when I was young. Many people said, why would you want a house like this? It's not all very nice. And I said, yeah, it is. It's quite nice. You know, I quite like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good for the size. And it's pretty good for the price. And even paper. Cause, ah. Now, when I first came here from uh, Transal... Hello? Oh, hi. What's your name? No. Nice to meet you. Oh. When I look in the uh, places of interest, I find various different pieces of chips. Hey, some chips. Hello, chips. Can you see those chips? Doesn't look very nice, does it? No. Well, I find myself in the same old mess, and I sing. Sing to myself every day. Every day, because no one listens. Hello, you lot. Oh. That's just my friends in there. Oh, hello, more friends. This is a torture chamber as well. I stick my uh, hairbrush into their, you know, you know, hair. And they uh, sort of squeal because they're quite knotty. The hair's quite knotty, so I just squeal on them. Now let's see how much I weigh. Oh, getting a bit heavy there. 25 stone. That's a bit, uh, extreme, some would say. Now, moving on. I found myself, several years ago, to be quite a 
spontaneous kind of guy. First kill I killed was uh, summer of 87. The Vikings had come and I said, hello, what are you doing here? And they tried to say, oh, I'm taking over this place. And I said, no, it's my house. I don't want to give it to anyone. I'm just going to keep it to myself. So I picked up a screwdriver, unscrewed an, uh, like one of those screws, picked up the screw and stabbed him in the heart. <laughs> the screw was only a little one, though. It was like that big. And luckily, I put it in and then got a, you know, those little sticks. You get eat a Chinese it's near the uh, chopsticks, yeah. And then I poke the chopstick in and push the screw into the heart. <laughs> he signed my uh, my ass for that. Now walking on. Nowadays there's the internet and things like that. I don't really uh, look at those things except for the obvious uh, food websites. And I say, uh, what's the world come to? Sitting in my house alone, with nothing but my uh, victims for company. I don't know why I'm putting that around. I'm finding it all around. I can see clearly now. The green has gone. It's a raining outside, actually. I don't like it. It's like May or something. Anyway, I've got to be going. i got some, uh... Oh, a fucking ad. I got, ow, ow. I got some uh, things to attend to. I think you know what.